Hello the people of the universe, this is the Hoovian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, we are once again going to be continuing the Pirates of the Caribbean World Music Disc Hunt Tour thing. Not sure. Um, anyway, we're going to be doing it. Um, so today we're going to be exploring over this area and I cannot wait to explore that. So, in the last video, I think I mentioned, I literally just, like, built a ship in the community world that looks, that was based on the uh, Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean, and this makes mine look terrible, and I was really happy with it, uh, really happy with it originally. So yeah, let's, um, let's see how bad my build actually is compared to this thing. Uh, once again, I've changed the skin, like I said I would. We're currently playing as Barbosa, and I actually really like these skins, like, I wasn't a fan of them originally, but I think they look amazing. Like, they don't really, it's like the glazed terracotta, they don't fit in with Minecraft whatsoever, and I'm not a fan of them because of that, but they're just awesome, like, they look so cool. And this is the black pearl, this look, oh, this makes mine look terrible. I was hoping that we'd get on here, and then it would look awful, but it looks really good. And like, the music in this Smasher pack is just incredible, like, I don't know how well you can see, uh, see it, you can't see it, um, how well you can hear it though, in the video. And that's one thing that I've definitely done better, I've got like, an item frame with a puffer fish in for the wheel, so, I think I've managed to outdo these guys on that, definitely. This just is so cool, like it's even got three lanterns on the top. Oh, they're like, um, daylight sensors with the redstone lamps underneath. This is so cool though. Just look at the sails. I, I, I'm not going to actually end up building the sails properly on the one in the community world. Because it's going to end up taking way too long. And like, if we're going to be moving it a whole load, then that's just going to make it even worse. I'm sorry for that weird noise then, uh, it's just something, I don't know what that was. Um, you might not have been able to hear it. Um, so yeah, this is just amazing, look at the sails. My theory is that there might be one at the top of one of these masts on the crow's nest, uh, a chest with the music disc in. So, we're gonna have a look through, Ah, oh, can we not go through the, Ah, oh, That's a shame, I'm gonna have to break part of the pearl. It isn't something that I like to do. But I had to. It was a worthy sacrifice in the end. So we could get down here. This looks so cool. Just look at it. It's so tall. The real thing is, is trying to get down from here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I can probably jump from the water or into the water from here, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can make that. But yeah, this just looks. Look at that. Look at the galleon. That looks so awesome! That looks like a man of war from, uh, what's his name? Black Flag. It's, uh, I can never remember that guy. Beckett. That's his name. It's Beckett's ship, isn't it? Because, um, in the end of the third movie, when Jones is defeated, the, uh, the Pearl and, uh, the Dutchman. Wait, is that the Dutchman on the other side? Oh, poo. That was close. But yeah, the, uh, when Jones was defeated, like, they went on either side, didn't they? Like, uh, the Black Pearl went on the left, maybe, and then, uh, it doesn't matter. But yeah, they just blew the hell out of it, and then he walks down the thing, doesn't he? And then, like, everyone's like, should we abandon the ship? And then he's just walking, and it's so cool. Anyway, so, this ship looks amazing. I, I don't know why he just, well, I know why he jumped off it. But we didn't look in the interior yet, and it's still awesome. I genuinely cannot believe how good this looks. Like, even the, like, all the ropes and stuff, like, look amazing. Are the, ooh, there's guardians down there. Is there an ocean monument down there? Or are they just sort of spawning for some reason? I don't know, that's a bit confusing. But still, anyway, it's fine, we can just carry on. So let's have a look in, ooh, parrot. Are you supposed to be Cotton's parrot? Uh, I can't, I can't remember your name. What is your name? Is there a music disc? Ooh, no, but there is a compass. What does the compass look like? Ah, it's nothing special. I was hoping that would be like Jack's, like the magic one. It looks cool in your inventory though. Or in chests or whatever. And is this a golden apple? It is. That's mighty good if you ask me. Let's just empty out my inventory in here because you've got a few unnecessary things. Uh, I'm assuming this is supposed to be Barbosa's version of the cabin. 
because it's got a bunch of apples in it and like obviously all the sails are completely wrecked and like they were repaired weren't they well not repaired they just had patches on them in the uh, second and third movies and obviously in the uh, fifth movie as well obviously it wasn't in the fourth but yeah this looks so cool this, even the sails they look awesome this is the sort of thing that i wanted to do but i couldn't figure out how like this is definitely going to influence the next time i build a ship and something it's not, it's not going to be like a complete carbon copy or something because that's just a bit boring but even down here they've even fully furbished it down all the sleeping quarters look awesome these are so cool and then you've got the ladders going up this is so awesome and you've got little holes <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be, but they still look cool. This is so awesome. And there's even... Wait, it goes lower? Oh my goodness, it's got like all the jail cells, because Jack's in one of these, isn't he? And then he's like, stop blowing holes in my ship. And then they carry on blowing holes in his ship. I love the note blocks retexture though, they look so cool. Can we get in? Oh, we can't get into the jail cells. We can get into one of them, which is this one. Not that, not that one. Uh, Iron Sword... There's loads of good loot, but we don't need it, we just want the music discs. I'm starting to think that there aren't music discs in this. It was wrong. I, I swear I saw one that you could get into. Maybe not. Oh, no. It's probably just the angle that I was looking at. It. Oh, I see you. Mm, no. I don't know what they look like, so they could be anything. The flower pot looks quite cool. Yeah, that looks really cool. But no, it doesn't look like there's any music discs. But I'm still really glad to be able to, like, go in this. Because it looks so awesome. This looks amazing. I really hope that they've done the one from the second movie. Uh, where it's beached next to the tribal place. And it's about to become night. And it may look slightly cooler at night. Especially, like, the pearl and stuff. But we're going to sleep anyway. Because we want to, like, get the full experience of this place. And I can hear a meanie beanie somewhere. I'm not sure where, but it's close. Is it on top of the thing again? Because I know in the last episode we tried to sleep. Ah, oh, it is. Are you driving the ship? Are you trying to steal my ship? Where is the steering wheel? Oh, it's there. This place is so huge at the back here, though. It's much bigger than mine. But let's go in here. Let's go through there. And there we go. We can now sleep. I like how, like, this series has gone on for probably about like 10 minutes of recording so far like actually no probably about half an hour of recording so far and look at the map look how little we've explored and i'm sure that there's still loads of places that we haven't yet seen so yeah let's let's keep going this place looks awesome though i can't i i hope that it has a similar effect to like the that one over there but when we eventually see that one we'll be able to get an even cooler view of this but Wait, is that actually the duction? I think that's actually the duction of that. We're gonna, we're gonna go on the manor wall first. Wait, the dolphins are sharks. I was right. Actually, no, I wasn't. I said that the dolphins were uh, thingy sharks, zombie sharks, but they're just normal sharks. But they look so cool. It's really weird though because they're making the same sound. Also, I'm recording this by the way on the day um, Minecon happened, so. Yeah, Minecon was awesome. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons. I'm 100% doing a series on that. Because it's so cool. Like, I love games like that. I'm going to do a series on Star Wars The Old Republic after I've done Unturned. So yeah. That's that's like the perfect game for me. And obviously it's in Minecraft as well. I, it's it's going to be awesome, I hope. But yeah, I love that sort of game. Like, uh, RPGs like Terror as well was a really fun one when that was on PlayStation. Obviously this is only for PC, but it might come to PlayStation eventually, who knows. But that look, the, the, uh, the Dutch one looks awesome though. Looks so cool. It's so awesome. What's that over there? Is that the tribal place maybe? I'm not sure, we're going to go there next. But this looks so awesome. I wouldn't say that it looks as cool as the Pearl, because I just love the Pearl. The Pearl's my favourite, like, ship out of everything, including spaceships and stuff. It's just so awesome. But, like, it's even got, like, dark bits going up there as well. It looks sort of like rope, maybe? I don't know. And it's got this area down here, because he comes down here, doesn't he? He comes down the steps uh, as everything's being blown up either side of him. 
then like all the generals, well not the generals, I don't know what they're called, uh, but they just start, start jumping up, don't they? This place is awesome. It's huge. The Black Pearl had two underneath levels. Well, ooh, that's a nice touch. I like that. How many levels is this one going to have? Oh, so far three. Four. Okay, it has four, but it's awesome. Ooh, chest. I assume all the chests are going to be at the bottom of the ship rather than at the top. So you might not be able to... So I assume we're going to have to look through all the bottoms of all the ships. And then, if there are any going to, if there going to be any music discs, and what's this? This piston, yeah. It's just a really place out there. And any chest around here? I do not believe there is. What happens if I go? Ah, yes, a shame. Is having to set the ship on fire from inside, and just come back here later and see what happened. Uh, so that's where I can. Oh, <laughs> I, I I should have really thought that through, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, let's try and find a way out of here then, and also let's block off that. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a ladder. Music disc? No. There might not be any music disc, which would be a shame. This place just looks so cool. It looks so unbelievably cool. So that's the way up. To oh, hello. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep on walking past you. And, oh no, I'm out of hunger, I'm out of hunger. I need to eat something. I need to eat lots of things actually because I need to get my health up as well. Uh, is there a way out through here? I'm, I've managed to get lost in a ship. How stupid is that? It's not even that huge. Actually, it's really huge. But it's not even like that big. I don't think it's going to be the biggest ship on the map. I think it's going to be one of the biggest, but not necessarily the biggest. And then we're still going up. Oh, there we go. That was nice. Um, let's have a look in the cabin. Because this has got multiple levels to it, hasn't it, as well? And yeah, let's. Uh, oh, it's got one of these things again. I love those globes. They look really cool. Uh, ooh, diamond. I'll take you, diamond. Ah, oh, they've got the hat. Ah, oh, leather cap. That's so cool. I'm going to take it because we're, we've already got a hat, you know? We don't need another hat. Um, there's an enchantment table. The enchantment tables look really cool. Oh, it, is so, it still follows you. That's awesome. And then, obviously, bookshelves. This place looks so awesome. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I mean, look at this place, like, I'm not sure whether it would look as good in the default texture pack, because, I mean, like, I don't know whether it's it looks so busy because it's in this texture pack. But yeah, it just looks awesome. Everything about this is amazing. So, yeah, let's keep, let's keep exploring. Um, I'm gonna, let's, wait, let's go to the mouse on this one as well. See how high this goes. Well, I know that goes high, but I want to see how long it takes us. Well, I don't. I want to see roughly how long. I'm not timing it or anything. It's just sort of a little bit of an interesting thing to find out how long it would take. Can we not get to the top? Oh, that's a shame. Or can we? We can get to the top, just in a little bit of an unorthodox way. So let's just carry on going to the top. And this is as far as we can get going this way. But if I were to go there, then I could go there. Ooh, we're going to have to be very careful here. And then we're going to place down some white wool again here. Oh, there we go. Can we go underneath here? Yes, we can. Could... We can't get any higher on this sail. Except if we go on the actual sail. Then we can get slightly higher. And then... If we go drop down here, and then we drop down here. That wasn't where I intended to drop to. And we can go all the way up here, and we can go over these fences. And this doesn't take me any higher, does it? Oh, that's sad. Looks like that's as far as we can get on this one. This looks so cool. Just look at this. Like the wall looks so awesome. It's not, it's not that good, like, as just a plain texture wall, like, in a vanilla game. But when you're playing in this world, it makes it look so awesome. Like, especially when there's loads of white wool and stuff on the sails like that. 
just makes it look so awesome. This looks cool though. This is amazing. Just look at all the detail on it. Like that's definitely down to the textures rather than the actual building. Yeah, it's a detailed build, but like the textures just make it look even better. And there's a very wonky ladder. I didn't expect any. Oh wow, okay. This uh, this goes down quite deep quite quickly, doesn't it? This is this is so cool though. This this is like one of the ships where it's like, oh, they've got even coral all over it now and sea pickles and stuff. Wait, you can mine sea pickles now? I didn't realize that. No one told me this. Oh, I thought. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, like this looks so cool and it looks even cooler now. But yeah, this is amazing. Like. I, this is one of the shifts, as I was saying, that I never really got the actual how it worked, and I still don't. So, this is really confusing to me. I know that he gets whipped somewhere, and I know that there's an organ in Jones's office. Is this Jones's office? It is. This is the organ. Because, like, in the Lego game, you have to hop over all the things, and then if you hop on the wrong ones, then it just does a bunch of random things. Then, like, you get sent way back to the beginning and stuff, don't you? It's awesome. Like, they've even used the grey beds to make it look like it's been underwater. And it's all wet. And there is another skeleton down here. I'm going to take care of you quickly before you take me out. And let's keep going. This is the jail cells. This is so cool. Ooh. Oh, I was having, uh, they would have the dead people in there. I'm not the dead people, the part of the ship, part of the crew thing. Because that was really cool. I like those people. Like J the Jack one in the third movie. That was quite funny. Yeah, this looks so awesome. And you've got all this around here. There's a teeny weeny mini beanie. He looks so awesome. <laughs> well, I say awesome, he looks hilarious. Oh no, he might take me out. There we go. I was fine, everyone. Don't worry. I wasn't panicking. Uh, we've got seven pumpkin pie. So I think that's what I'm going to have next uh raw card we did ooh what's this ooh a damn chest plate what does this look like what's this supposed to be i don't know it looks shredded and it looks sort of cool but it's not as cool as the normal stuff that i'm wearing currently so yeah let's let's get to it let's keep exploring <laughs> the amount of times that i've said this so far on this let's play is ridiculous yeah this all this looks so cool this is genuinely one of those worlds where it's like some songs where you listen to it over and over again, then it loses its meaning. But I don't think this is going to be one of those worlds. I think this is going to be one of those worlds where like you can just keep on playing on it and it never loses its like legitimacy sort of thing. Oh, diamond boots. I'll definitely take you over the smelly old leather ones that I've been carrying around in my pockets. Ooh, nether wart's a snake. Um, dried cow, that makes sense, I suppose. This looks awesome. Then you've got, like, ooh, the, ah, the top of the crafting tables look awesome. This is amazing and cool and epic in every way possible. I just love this so much. So, like I said, let's go up to the top of these masts as well <laughs> and jump up again. This just looks awesome. Look at this. I'm going to crouch as well on the way up here. So I don't fall off. But yeah, this looks so cool. This is awesome. Can I not get... Oh, that's a shame. They don't seem to want me to jump off into the water from that high up. But I want to jump off into the water from that high up. Conflict and interest. So we're definitely going over there because they look like palm trees. And it's sort of look cool. And this would be... I, I don't think this is a naturally generated beach either. And that's a creeper. That's two creepers. Like, I don't think this is a naturally generated beach. I think this is made... Um, wait. Is this not sand? What is this? Sand. Okay. What's this? Well, thank you. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, no. We're all the way back here. It's fine. We just get to see it in its, all its glory again. And also it's night time, so you can sleep again. This looks so amazing. Like, I keep saying that, but I don't know how else to describe it. Just get it. Like, if, if you have any sort of thing that you can spend on this game, then 
spend it using this. Like, it's not even like the money going to waste, because considering that, like, they've given you over 70 free updates for a not very expensive game, I think that buying a £5 thing is, like, not a, like, bad thing to... I don't know where I was going with it. I know I was, I know what I was trying to say. Well, I don't. I know what I mean, but I don't know how I'm supposed to say it properly. That's annoying. I assume you get it. I'm gonna assume that you're all good. What is this though? Sand and red sand. Oh, okay. The sand looks amazing though, doesn't it? Like, it just looks so cool. Ooh, wait, is that turtle? Oh my goodness, that's turtle. What do you look like? Oh, are you supposed to be like, um, where Jack's saying that he escaped the island and then he's like, I had to get the help of some sea turtles. And then I had to make a raft from the hairs of my back, sort of thing. Is that supposed to be a reference to that? What's this place? It looks cool. Oh, this is the wheelie place from, um, the, th uh, second movie, isn't it? Where Norrington and Jack and Will are on top of this thing, aren't they? And then it goes into the ocean and falls over. This place is so awesome. Because they're looking for the chest, aren't they? I wonder what the Heart of the Sea looks like in this. Maybe it's Davy Jones' heart. That would genuinely be awesome, and that would be an amazing way to tie it back to the movie as well. I would love that if that was the case. What sort of door are you? I'm not sure. I need to check. This place looks so cool. Ooh, just a standard oak door, and it still looks amazing. <laughs> this looks so cool though. I don't even think these are 16 by 16 textures. Like, 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No, the 32 by 32 textures, that's why they look so good. That's saying something, as they've gone out of their way to make textures that amazing. And then there are a bunch of short palm trees as well. I want to get on top of that big wheel thing. I loved that part of the movie. I used to be like my favourite part of the movie. And hello, Moo Moos. I thought you were goats before. Oh, maybe sheep or goats. That would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think it might have been sheep then. Yeah, I think it might have been wrong. That'd explain why they're making sheep noises too. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. Let's jump up here. The leaves look amazing as well. I it like it's okay to break these blocks, I would say. Like, they're not really important. They they just there to look cool. And as long as it's helping me do some cool stuff, then it's perfectly fine. So this is where all the water would come, wouldn't it? And then obviously it would turn it, but then like, they just sort of ended up like spinning around on here. And what, I wonder whether they've got anything that looks like the key to open the chest. Maybe that's like the, con oh, maybe the conduits, the heart of David Jones. Maybe the keys, um, the other one. Uh, maybe the keys, the heart, no. The keys to the heart of the sea, that's it. The keys to the heart of the sea, the heart's the conduit. That would make sense, and that would be even more awesome than what I said before. But anyway, I just want to carry on exploring this, so... Oh, this looks so cool. Like, this is obviously supposed to be the graveyard and stuff. This is amazing. This is the best texture pack ever. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so... We can't just spend all day fanboying about this as much as I would love to. So, as always, I thank you for watching. There will be a link in the description to the next episode of the series when this is online. Uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.